the eventual rise of the Sith to rule the galaxy through Darth Sidious's galactic empire wouldn't have been possible without the transformation of the Sith Order 1,000 years earlier by Darth Bane. Bane recognized that the Sith Brotherhood of Darkness was perverting the dark side by creating an order defined by equality amongst Sith Lords. This equality promoted an environment of infighting amongst the ranks of the Sith, whereby lesser Sith would team up to overthrow stronger masters, creating a cycle that would slowly weaken the order. As we all know, Bane's answer to the Brotherhood of Darkness was the Rule of Two, a philosophy mandating that there only be two Sith Lords at any one time, a master to embody the dark side, and an apprentice to crave it. But what might not be known is that Bane's first choice was not originally a Rule of Two, but a Rule of One. In this video expose, I will explain why Bane originally believed that a Rule of One would save the Sith, but then subsequently abandoned the idea for the Rule of Two. Looking for answers that would save the Sith from the slow, inevitable decline that was occurring under the Brotherhood of Darkness, Bane traveled to the ancient planet of Lahan within the Unknown Regions. Desperate for any clues on how he should proceed to achieve the full potential of the Dark Side, Bane discovered the holocron of Darth Revan within the Temple of the Ancients. Full of ancient knowledge regarding the Sith and Dark Side, Revan's holocron confirmed Bane's suspicion about the current perversion of the Sith and Dark Side under the Brotherhood. As the avatar of Darth Revan concluded, the power of the Dark Side cannot be dispersed among the masses, that is, among numerous Sith Lords. Rather, it could only be concentrated in the few worthy enough to use it. For Revan, which was completely accepted by Bane, the Sith could only be ruled by a single leader who embodied the strength and power of the Dark Side. The belief that the Sith could be led by an organization of many Sith Lords was a lie, where an additional numbers would restrict the Dark Side's power, not promote it. Although Bane was then committed to a path of destroying the Brotherhood, his immediate solution wasn't to implement a Rule of Two, but a Rule of One. Taking the teachings from the Avatar of Revan's Holocron seriously, Bane first thought the answer would be to replace the Order of the Sith with a single, all-powerful Dark Lord. Under Bane's original conceptualization, there would be no masters and no apprentices at all, but a single vessel that would come to embody the full power and knowledge of the Dark Side. Taking Revan's teachings literally, Bane thought to implement a Rule of One, wherein a single leader ruled the Sith and embodied the strength of the Dark Side. But if the Rule of One was Bane's original idea, why did the Sith Lord ultimately come to reject it in favor of the Rule of Two? There are two primary reasons why Darth Bane came to reject the Rule of One, one being practical and the other more philosophical. The first practical reason for committing to a Rule of Two rather than a Rule of One is simply Bane's conclusion that eventually, even a Dark Lord of the Sith would wither and die. Within such a scenario, wherein the single Sith Lord died without an apprentice to pass their teachings to, all knowledge of the Sith would be lost, ending the Order for good. But even more than the single Sith Lord dying, Bane was just as concerned about the possibility that the Dark Lord would grow weak. Under a rule of one, with no one to challenge the Dark Lord's supremacy, there was a strong possibility that they would become complacent, accepting their strength rather than looking to increase it. Therefore, under the rule of one, Bane worried that he would be replacing the problem of the Brotherhood's regression in the Dark Side with the problem of stagnation an issue that would be just as deadly to the Sith in the long run. For this reason, Bane concluded that there must be a second Sith Lord to crave the power of the Dark Side, one who would rise to seize the mantle of Dark Lord of the Sith should the Master ever grow weak and content. The second, more philosophical reason for Bane's rejection of the Rule of One relates to his understanding of the Dark Side's nature. As passed along to him through Revan's Sith Holocron, Bane came to understand that the very nature of the Dark Side was one that encouraged rivalry and strife. As taught by Darth Revan, conflict between Sith was their greatest strength, helping to remove the weak from the Order. Because there was always the possibility that a stronger rival could usurp the power of a master, it ensured the master not just retain their skills, but increase them. Bane recognized that by implementing a Rule of One, he would be denying the Sith its greatest strength. 
Lacking the strife that was so natural to the dark side, the single Dark Lord would grow weak, again revealing a situation similar to the Brotherhood, wherein the Order was regressing instead of getting stronger. By implementing a rule of two rather than a rule of one, Bane would ensure that a second Sith Lord would always be ready to seize the mantle should the Master grow weak while also promote the Sith's greatest strengths of rivalry and conflict that were so natural to the dark side. So there we have it, why Darth Bane rejected his original idea to implement a rule of one. We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions. Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like or leaving a comment. Or perhaps follow us on Twitter, at SWReadingClub, for updates regarding the channel. Or support the channel through Patreon, for access to exclusive hangouts and book discussions. If not for me... For Sith Rivalries!